A ripple has appeared on the island nation where Singularity F was observed. It draws servants in, inescapable, inexorable. At the end of Ray Shift stands the girl with mystic eyes of death perception. But even with her help, uncovering the truth will not be easy. Welcome fans of Fate Grand Order, I'm Avon, you're watching FGO Tips, and today I am thrilled to be talking about the arrival of Ryogi Shiki. The Garden of Sinners, the Garden of Order, is the first collaboration event to reach the NA version of Fate Grand Order, and features Ryogi Shiki from Kinoko Nasu's The Garden of Sinners, appearing in the world of Fate Grand Order. In addition to making the limited time assassin Ryogi Shiki available, this event brings with it a lot more to discuss. The event will run from Thursday, February 8th through Thursday, February 22nd, so consider this a quick preview of what's to come. And if you haven't completed Singularity F yet, get to it! Because only those who have advanced beyond that point will be eligible to participate. New to this event is the mission system. By tapping on the rewards button in the upper right hand corner you will be able to see what missions are available for you to complete. Missions will require you to complete specific quests, collect specific materials, and defeat specific enemies. By tapping on completed missions you can receive rewards and also unlock new missions. Note that progress can be made on missions before they are even unlocked, but that they can't be completed nor can their rewards be claimed until after unlocking them. Rewards for missions are varied, including things like golden apples, ascension materials, craft essences, summoning tickets, and even saint courts. But perhaps the most exciting are Ryogi Shiki herself, and her limited time ascension material, the sharp knife. Four copies of the material will be available, one each for clearing every room on the first three floors, clearing every room on the first six floors, completing 30 missions, and completing 60 missions. Five copies of Shiki Assassin are available as rewards for clearing room 504, defeating 20 Rapunzel enemies, defeating 40 evil servants, clearing one room on each floor, and completing 90 missions. In addition to the mission system, the event will also feature a familiar currency system with three separate levels. This time they are represented as mineral waters, strawberry ice creams, and black cat figurines. Enemies featured in event quests will drop different amounts of these for you to collect in exchange for a variety of things in the Da Vinci Workshop. In order to help complete missions, there are a series of limited time craft essences to increase the appearance of certain enemy types. This will allow you to more easily complete missions that require defeating such enemies or collecting the materials they drop. Decapitating Bunny 2018 will increase the appearance of Vengeful Spirit of 7 people by 25% or 50% after max limit break. Threefold Barrier will increase the appearance of Base Model by 25% or 50% after max limit break. Summer's Precognition will increase the appearance of Living Corpse by 25% or 50% and Chorus will increase the appearance of both Apartment Ghost and Skeleton by 25% or 50%. All of these craft essences are available as very rare drops from bosses during the event, but you can also purchase them from the Da Vinci Workshop. Decapitating Bunny will cost 100 Black Cat figurines each, and with 5 copies available that is a total of 500 figurines. The threefold barrier will cost 100 strawberry ice creams each, or 500 for all 5 copies. Chorus will cost 100 mineral waters each, or 500 for all 5 copies. And Summer's Precognition is a little bit different. It will also cost 100 mineral waters each, but only 4 copies are available in the workshop. The fifth copy is actually awarded after completing a certain mission early in the event. In addition to these craft essences, there are a lot of other goodies available in the workshop as well, including embers, foo cards, ascension materials, and skill gems. The Fate Grand Order wiki shows the complete list, and I'll include a link in the description. The wiki also shows the total cost of everything combined, so if you're looking to clear out the workshop you'll need at least 3300 mineral waters, 2500 strawberry ice creams, and 3600 black cat figurines. You can also trade 10 mineral waters for one strawberry ice cream and 10 strawberry ice creams for one black cat figurine in case you end up with too many of the wrong type of currency. To help you clear out the shop, this event is also introducing another set of limited time craft essences. This 
this time aimed at increasing the drop counts of these currencies. The Peerless Puppeteer will increase Black Cat figurine drops by one or two after max limit break, as will the Mature Gentleman. Both the Vivid Dance of Fists and the Mystic Eyes of Distortion will increase Strawberry Ice Cream drops by one or two after max limit break and both the Sprinter and Repeat Magic will increase Mineral Water Drops by one or two after max limit break. All six of these will be on Rate Up and available from the new Garden of Sinners Collaboration Pickup Summon banner running at the same time as the event. And speaking of this banner, there will also be a limited time 5 star Saber on Raid Up. This is the Saber version of Ryogi Shiki. I have to be honest though, I am not looking for another Saber servant just yet. And Saber Shiki isn't so amazing that I feel bad passing on this banner. She has an Arts AoE Noble Phantasm with a chance to instant kill all enemies and even a skill that drops enemy death resistance. But even still, it's going to be a stretch to make this work reliably. I am much more excited about Assassin Shiki, even though she is only a 4 star. Anyone who watched my embarrassing failure to roll Jack the Ripper last week knows that of all the 7 main classes in Fate Grand Order, I have at least one gold servant in all but one, Assassin. I still desperately need an Assassin, and Shiki here will finally get to fill that slot for me. Her single target Noble Phantasm has a much better chance to land the instant kill, 100% at base instead of 60%, and her skill to drop enemy death resistance is even better than her 5 star Saber counterpart, starting at 80% instead of 60. Sure, the 5 star Saber has better HP and attack, but for what she does, I'm pretty excited about Assassin Shiki, especially considering the relative ease at which you can get her to NP5 versus the chances of getting even one Saber Shiki from the banner, let alone five. Still, I'm curious to hear what you think. Will you be rolling on this banner? Do you want better craft essences to get through this event, or are you really hoping to get your hands on Saber Shiki? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to hear more tips in the future, and as always, thanks for watching.